Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play GTNH. So we are back now. Um, it might take me a wee bit to get my uh, bearings, mostly for the fact that um, uh, it's been a while since I played. Uh, basically, I was away for holidays and it was only uh, like a weekend, like eight days, basically. Uh, and during that time, I did go into the game, but basically I would just run the um steel or i would just grab some farm stuff i did run the bees a wee bit and i'll show you them quickly we're not going to get into the bees today but this is what happens with bees they make an ultra mess um uh, and i even harvest some of these just for fun once um let's see where they are here oh maybe they're in this chest yeah so i'll probably do it again because flowers are good for dyes and things like that uh, maybe for that curry and stuff later on but uh it's kind of fun to collect them uh but i i harvest them once and this is the the result of it uh anyways uh so i did get cultivated drones here now some of these were not pristine unfortunately so um if they're not pristine but they're ignoble or whatever uh, they're basically considered insignificant, I think. Basically, like, unpure blood, blah, blah, blah. I think that pristine and ignoble is more like queen and king kind of, you know, that sort of style of something. I don't know if that's... I mean, it might be a genetic word as well, but I don't think so. Um, but it doesn't matter. Basically, what happens is ignoble, you might be able to run it through, like, 100, 200 times, but eventually they, they break, in a sense, and then you lose your your your... your 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 bee your princess um but that's not a big deal because there's still a lot of pristine plus there's ways to you know bang them in there so if i wanted to take this meadows one for example and turn it in what, what kind of meadows oh you're pristine so that's good actually so what i could do is put the meadows in here put cultivate it in there and it will eventually make what i need basically which is good um a lot of those bees i don't know if i should save them i'll have to ask people on discord a little later on that I don't know if it's worth saving the bees or just trash them in something this like this. Because uh, as you can see, I've run them a lot of times already. So we have quite a bit of them. Um, but yeah, we might as well go and check out our jungle ones as well. Because I was AFK there for quite a bit. Just to see if... Uh, I'm pretty sure all of them but one had died. So one was only pristine. But I might as well check to see if I can get them running. I don't know if I have a bee here that I can actually get some of those running again as well. Probably not. Because you need a bee that fits the conditions of the tropical climate, right? So, But I'll head over there and we'll check them out. Okay, we got one running here, I think. Okay, so I'm going to try to get to this guy and shut him off before I get poisoned. It's like a tick base egg, so you might make it, you might not. There you go. So that should shut it down, so... Well, it's not terrible. Well, like I said, you got to load chunks and stuff, right? But um, Let's get rid of you guys. You probably need more anyway for those. So I don't know how many I needed for that. Let's go to the bee stuff. I'm not going to grab the quest yet, but there was a bee thing for this. How to be, I think it was. Yeah. So we want 370, and I'm guessing we didn't quite get that. So you definitely need a little bit more of those. Um, let's see how many we have here without, you know, being cheap. Oh, yeah, I disabled them. I don't know the right. I'm going to re-enable that. There you go. Getting kind of close. 320, so not terrible. Um, so I did bring, I got a noble one, which they'll die, but whatever, uh, noble princess. And then I have this one here. There was a pristine. I had those already sitting in the chest. I just didn't notice them, obviously. Um, we'll just get these guys put in with them. Perfect. And then I don't know if I can take something like, I saw a marshy. I don't know if marshy would work. Or it might have not have been marshy. I think I got. I thought it was marshy, but I guess not. I don't think you could take like a forest and make one of these work. These mysticals. I have a bunch of them. Let's try a mystical for fun. I don't know if they'll work here. It's kind of a science experiment at this point to see if they they'll run. No flowers too hot. Okay, yeah, basically. To no flowers, too humid, too hot. Yeah, you basically killed those, so that was probably not a good choice. And then I already had this one, so I'll put that in there. So at least I have three of them that can run here, and I'll you know come back from time to time. But uh, I just want to check out the bees anyways. We're not going to focus on bees for a bit. Those are like one of those off-camera things. We'll go back to the base, except the uh, bee quests have done so far, and then go from there. 
Okay, let's do our quest stuff here anyway. So I did, uh, you know, while I was running all the way there, I thought I'd kill some cows and stuff like that. So we got our usual here. And then let's go uh, bee breeding here. So basically we did get meadows. We took meadows and forced and we created common eventually. So we did get that done. Um, and then I guess is this... This is item reward, but I guess hit back and not claim. <laughs> and then you did common to forest. Uh, I think it could be common or meadows as well. I forget. But anyways, you take common forest, for example, here. And you can get yourself cultivated ones, which uh, there you go. So we got cultivated ones as well now. And then you keep working on these, right? So they, they give you tips on how to do it. Our, uh, I'm sure... Oh, they're, they're from common to cultivated. There you go. So they basically walk you through these, how they were common to cultivated again. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can either or, I guess, for those two. So you can either diligent or the noble one. So and then you just basically work on the chain. They, they, they have a chain there to help you. So it's actually not too hard. Um, it's just a lot of the breeding. I basically do it manually. So I'll set some up manually. And then eventually once, you know, I get, uh, you know, say the diligent or whatever a bunch of times, then I try to fire them. Like I got diligent here while trying to make, I guess, cultivated at one point, which was funny. So what I'll do is I'll take this diligent and or I'll probably do the, you know, the, the thing. So forest or whatever it was, uh, meadows to cultivated and then i'll try to get another diligent and then when i get a couple diligent drones i'll try to throw them on there and try to change it over but basically you could almost do this automatically like you could loop it like this just put your forest drone in there and then just let it do its thing and hope the best usually it won't do the best best uh, it's best to do it by hand but you can kind of like automate it and forget it and it sometimes will work not always but it is a, a lazy method anyways that uh, is known to to produce some results. So I think that's it for the bee stuff for now. I just want to say I'm kind of derpy at times with GTNH. It happens to the best of us. I've actually checked a few YouTube videos out there and they do derpy things where I'm like screaming at the screen. And, you know, I did one on the Ardite here, for example. I thought you had to use an extruder. It's like that that sucks. MV will save it. And yet you could have done this recipe the entire time. Um, that's just one of those oops, I'm an idiot kind of uh moments, right? Which Ardite is one of the tinkers, you know, that's the thing. It is literally um crossbow body, right? Crossbow limb. Oh, let's not be an idiot here. Uh, five materials that makes sense. I thought it was weird for uh, Tinker. It, you know, Arte is part of Tinkers. I mean, this is actually. Oh, this is actually says Greg Tech. I guess they have their own Arte, but it is a Tinkers. You know, item. Um, so kind of stupid on my part on there. Let's make sure it won't smell into anything. It probably cobalt. Oh yeah, manilium, manilium, manilium. Blood. Uh oh, dog bear. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. That that one will definitely happen. Holy crap! We can't get rid of all that blood, but we could probably get rid of all that ender juice if we do it fast enough. Is this circle? Yeah, let's do this fast. Okay, go 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 go. Yeah, you got to be careful with some of these. I was just like thinking, oh, I better check because you know. What's nice about our setup here is I still have like three out of five of the lava things there, which is beautiful because we just haven't gone through it yet. So, let's see how we're doing with this. Oh gosh. We're not getting fast enough here. We're on 50 each pour. Oh crap. Go, 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 go. Should be getting there. I think these are 250 per pour, but maybe I'm wrong. Oh, well, we got something else now, so that should be good. Oh, what was that made of? Oh, aluminite. Okay, no, we, we got it in time, I think, I guess. All right, five of them. Perfect. Yeah, because I need exactly five for this, so it didn't work out. 
and it would have sucked, but it uh, looks like we did it fine, so. But anyways, um, Illuminite's another example. Did you know with Illuminite, I could have doubled it in the smeltery? So, oh, those are 32. Wait, wait, I thought I could double something from Illuminite. I might have been wrong with Illuminite. Maybe we made it. No, 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 no. There's a dust recipe. That's right. I think that's what it is. So there's an actual recipe in the alloy smelter, was it? Yeah, I thought there was. I could be wrong. I thought there was a dust recipe. Well, you guys make it from a lot of stuff. Dust. There you go. There it is. So this is LV recipe. Look at you get nine. Look at all the crap here. So you got five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, and you get nine out of that. Where the other one I was basically losing insane. Like this recipe should be deleted to be fair. Look at this. So you put in all this in there and then you're getting only, yeah. Man, so I wasted so much on Illuminite. Um, and I figured this out over time. I just looked at it. Like honestly, I really should um, put a ticket in or something, a bug report. I would, I would say they should get rid of the smeltery version of Illuminite making it anyways because like people like me are going to derp up and i'm sure lots have i bet you if i go and you know search the gtnh uh discord i bet you there's going to be even comments on just certain you know people doing literally that um which is too bad because people make mistakes they're newbies whatever uh but oh well it is what it is so i want to put this on here i think you have to fully repair it don't you so what do i have to repair this silly thing with Um, Magnelium, right? Magnelium, Magnelium. See if I can find some. There you go. So will this make it so you have to use... No, because I think you still... Does it say what it's... Control for materials, shift for stats. Does it say, oh, Magnelium still is for that? Okay. So this goes from... Let's see here. So this gives you just a lot of durability. It doesn't look like it modifies anything but the durability, which, hey, that's cool. It just lasts longer, really. It's part of the quest. Might as well, right? So there you go. So that's one of the things I just wanted to do today was work on a bunch of quests for the LV. It's something that we have a lot of quests, like a lot of, you know, quests for anyways. So it's something I could do probably for two, three episodes and we'll still be doing quests, which is fine. That's just what we're here for, right? So. I wanted to do some of these more uh, interesting ones like that. Uh, oh, yeah, you get to aluminum. I guess you get into magic progression. Oh, gosh. You don't have to do that right away, but eventually I should probably do it because I know I kind of... I stayed away for a while, and I don't think I should do that again. Uh, so copper dust and zinc dust will give you brass, and then brass, aluminum, and cobalt will give you cobalt, brass, dust. And that's to make the saw blades, which you're gonna need in the future. So let's uh yeah, you know, let's look at that. So copper dust and zinc dust. I probably have zinc somewhere. Um I don't know where you normally find zinc. What do they say? Oh, small ores. Okay, that's actually cool, because then I probably have it in this version. I'll check it out here. Oh yeah, here you go. Here's zinc. Here's zinc. And then that's it. Looks like it for now. I probably have zinc ingots as well. Yeah, there you go. But uh, I'll leave those alone since I have them in this form. So we'll just throw them in here. Oh, some old stuff here. I guess these are pretty fast, right? Oh, these are off. Are they off or are they just something else? I guess they were just off. Oh, crap. Well, we're getting one free zinc, zinc again as well. There you go. <laughs> That's the only downside with the Greg Tech machines is you can easily, you know, derp up with that. Um, let's just throw you in there. Okay, so let's go over here and wash it. We don't have a bucket here, but we do have enough for one washing. I guess this is fine. I guess these are all calcified, right? Yeah, but I mean, we've got a big buffer here, so we're fine right now. I'll have to pick those up eventually here. Okay, so we got our zinc dust, and we want to get some copper dust here. Might do a batch of these, because it's like one of those why not, you know, scenarios. I wonder, you know what? We probably have copper in here, too. It might be, a, yeah, look at that. Look at all the copper. I was going to say, this might be a worthwhile cleanup here. I feel like I should have more copper dust. So here you go. 
There you go. And we should probably get a bucket to replace the bucket that we probably got rid of at one point. Where do we keep all our buckets? Like, this is this is my bucket city, isn't it, usually? What today, apparently? Whoa. Oh, you know what? Might be... Aha! Aha! Ha 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 ha. Okay, so, uh, same thing here. Let's turn you off this time, and you, and let's turn you on. There you go. So let's get you out of there, and yeah, so let's just put you in there, and there you go. I love it. I just love how fast they go and the noises they make. They're quite loud, but I mean, we did change the sound a long time ago. Blocks that was that. I do wish they had their own sound thing, but they're not even hitting 50% on OBS. So obviously you should be able to hear me just fine. There we go. Okay, so you got that and then you got yours. Perfect. Some left. Let's go ahead and wash those guys. I just thought, you know, you have, ow. I have all that copper there. Might as well use it up. Oh, we almost, we were too shy from four, our full three stacks. There you go. And then we mix them. Now, I don't know if you need the mixer, if you just throw them in, you know, you get your brass dust. So here you go. So you probably have a crafting recipe. Okay, so three of those. I'm guessing if you put them in the mixer, though, you'll probably get four, I'm guessing. Yeah. So you get a better, you get a better yield. It takes 20 seconds, but I mean, why not? Okay, mixer, you're the ore washer. Our mixer is in here, isn't it? Ah, oh, yeah, here it is. So it needs to be circuit one, I think it said. So put you in there and I don't, so it's in threes, right? Three, nine, okay, yeah, you're doing it that way. So uh, let's do, nine and then let's do it like that i guess for fun there you go and then we'll leave that be okay so the next one is we're gonna need aluminium dust which we should have some somewhere um <laughs> uh, it's like i want to see the dust but i can't find oh there we go oh there you go yeah, we got it from something, obviously, so that's good. And then cobalt dust, which, I mean, we might, we just might actually have. I think we might have found something, right? It would just be, I guess you could use your nether one, I guess. I was wondering if I have it in, like, this kind of form. I guess not. So I guess you just use cobalt ore, I guess. I wonder what they say. It's probably just a cobalt ore you find in the nether, but it might be cobalt light or something. Okay, mixing aluminum and cobalt dust, you can get it as a byproduct of a couple ore search in the nether or go to twilight for cobalt light and get cobalt light brass dust. Now you can, okay, so I don't even know if we got cobalt light somewhere in here, but I have cobalt ore, so I think that's what we want anyways. And then I guess I just do, where's the hammer? And then I can just wash you and I'm guessing I got what I need anyways. Okay, yeah, I do, okay. So let's get you guys going. Okay, and we got aluminum and the brass dust obviously is being made. Okay, so we'll come back when uh, this gets uh, purified here or macerated. Okay, that should be done. This one should be done. Nice. We'll just wash them up. Ow, that was rude. Okay, and there we go. Wee. Wee. Sometimes your wees have to go a little bit more when you mess up. Mess up. Okay, so now we're just going to pick up the brass, and then obviously we're going to mix all this together and create live. Okay. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's 64, I'm sure, is enough for now. There you go. And then I'm guessing same idea. Probably mixer is better, so it needs to be on the one. So 7, 1, 1, basically. So 7, 1, 2, 3, and then, um, oops, 1, 2, 3, I guess. Might as well get a bunch of them going, and there you go. Okay, there we go. 
Well, that should get us uh, what we need for a bit there. Okay, so we just claim that. Perfect. Get rid of these guys here. Okay, so we got that. And this will let us make the blades now. So you do need to make cobalt brass gears out of this. Um, extruder, probably too early. Oh, a smelter. You could use less, you could use a fluid solidifier, but can I extract it? No, it looks like it's MV level. So you wouldn't be able to extract it anyway. So yeah, you can do cheaper later on, but not yet. Um, you got four of those, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, you could do it cheaper with rods, but at the same time, I'm kind of lazy on that. I would say just do it from the brass. Now, can I just smelt these? It looks like it. Yeah, so. In the end, I think you can do these pretty good. Uh, so let's turn these back on. And yeah, we'll just divide these in here and make them into ingots. We just need to make one of those. That's pretty simple. I wonder if we even had any. No, we didn't. So I was wondering if any have ever dropped, but I guess not. Right, we're halfway there. Let's just drop these in there for now. Pick them up another time. Okay. There you go. And then we just need to find the gear one. Have I ever used the gear one? Do I even own the gear one? That's a good question, even. Yeah, we do have the gear one. Just never used it, I guess. Right, so let's go over here. There you go. Turn that into a gear. Awesome. And you need small diamond dust. I feel like we might have diamond dust, but I actually don't know. I guess I can make diamond dust, I'm guessing. Oh, here you go. Crushed diamond ore. Okay, that's even better. There might be a diamond. Diamond in the rough. There might be. Oh, here you go. Some of this. Yeah. There you go. I'm guessing that turns it into diamond dust. I'm gonna do that every time, probably. Okay, there you go. That's what we wanted. And then I guess you put it in here, and depending on where you put it, I believe it was, it would turn it. Yeah, there you go. So there's your small pile ones. Perfect. And then, oh yeah, there's the gear. Okay, and then we just make that. I think it was just this, basically. It was like this. There you go. Diamond saw blade. Cool. Look at that. Some chocolate milkshake. Ooh, that'd be nice. I don't know if I got one like that, but hey, I can't complain. Um, Can I put four of these together? Yeah, there you go. I don't think I have this, no. Yeah. So let's see here. So this will let us make the saw, which we're going to need that anyways for a bunch of stuff. So might as well work on that now. So we're going to need some glass. Did we ever get a bunch of glass made? I guess I might have had some. I know at one point we're running low. So, oh, yeah, I did make a bunch of glass. That's right. I did. But I should have a ton of it somewhere. I hear some in there. Oh, yeah, it's regular glass in there. Okay. I was going to say, because I was like, I swear I made a bunch last time. Uh, well, not like last episode, but at some point before holidays. So I was like, eh. okay, so we probably, oh, we do have one of you. We got three of you guys. Okay, perfect. You know, we should just grab, you know, I don't know where I went now. Don't know if I need any of you, to be honest, but I was trying to look for, oh, there they are. There you go. Who am I missing? Oh, the circuits and the conveyor. I don't... Th oh, you know what? I might actually be out of conveyors. I was going to say, I, I shouldn't be out of conveyors, but they probably are out of conveyors because uh, we kind of went crazy with uh, the automation, the beast stuff, right? And that unfortunately uses quite a bit. So, um, no, we, we, we did use them, I think, so... Um, but I can take some of those plates that I just used most of. There you go. And what else? I need my motors. Okay, we can get some of these back now. Okay. 
What are we running out of on here? I think we can just do eight. I think we're fine right now. Okay, there you go. And we got the cutting machine. Now, you're probably going to want water or... Well, I think it was seed oil is like the most efficient one on this eventually. Um, was it seed oil? Yeah, it might have been seed oil. So it might actually be worth having this nearby, to be fair. Because then uh, it'll be... It'll make cutting better. You, you can cut it in half, I think it was, with seed oil. So I think that's something we just like have to do. Um, which is not too bad because I think we, uh, you know, we, we have seed oil already we've been using. So I think that helps right away. In many cases, I might have been more lazy, right? But when you have it already going, it helps. Okay. So there's the cutting machine. And they're already showing things like personal chunk loaders. This is amazing because um, this would help us so much right now. Uh, we'd be able to load like those bees, for example. I might have to move them a bit on the, you know, on the... actually I think these are like three by three. But anyways, we could use the chunk loader four hours with one single ender pearl. And I think you can only stack them into four or something. And there's these coins you can make over time. But this would let me load it up and not even be around there. And that's kind of cool. So um, they, they require a bit of stuff here, obviously. So. Um, I guess the the more expensive thing is they they require these plates, emerald block, right? So I think you'd have to make an emerald block, compressor. Okay, that's not so terrible. I was like a little worried about like what does that you know require? So um, and how many you get in a cutting? Oh nine. Okay, I like that. Okay, so um, you get nine of those, an obsidian plate. How do you compress it? Oh okay. So the obsidian plate is actually the easy one. And one, two, three, four, I guess, right? Because like, yeah, yeah, that one's okay. So the obsidian plate, that's simple. This one is the hardest one, obviously. Um, so we'll go create that. I'm pretty sure that's what the cutting machine's for. Like, I don't think you can make this in any way. No, okay. So, oh yeah, we have to compress these guys too. We have another compressor, don't we, or no? I guess not. I'll just wait, because those are going to go in the way, and then come on off. <laughs> You're almost there, my friend. You're almost there. Oh, wait. Are you actually doing one last one now? Yeah, you are, actually, I think. Okay. So you'll do that next. Okay, so that's good. And then you need an ender pearl. So we, we poured a bunch of those, which we have now. Yeah, we've gotten a bunch over time, which has been good for the ender pearls. Okay. What other things are we looking at here anyways? Diamond tanks, diamond chests. Oh yeah, we can do diamond chests now, which is gonna be nice for storage. I think this thing is, is this the trading post? Oh yeah. Yeah, so basically you place that down and then you can, it's like an a range, like an area or effect kind of thing. And then you can, it's an interface basically to talk to a bunch of villagers. So that's pretty cool actually. So, okay, here we go. So we got this and then when we throw this in, we'll get nine out of it. And then, so maybe we should, before we put it in there, because I don't know if it'll start blank. I don't think so. So, oh, lubricant. Oh, it was lubricant, which you do in brewing with oil, which is not too cheap, uh, or it's not too expensive at all, actually. It's really cheap, but I don't have that, like, on hand, really. Creosote and distillery tower, that ain't happening. Distiller, I guess you could do it seed oil and distillery as well, yeah. So, yeah, creosote and distillery is probably a good one to do, to be fair. But anyways, we'll just do it with water, but here is obviously the punishment. So if you do it with lubricant, it takes nine seconds. Oh, 18 seconds. Okay, it's nothing on here. Some things could take like several minutes and that's where, you know, it, it makes a big deal. Uh, in this case, there's no big deal, uh, which is cool. So is there water in here? No, and I'm sure you've used whatever. So we'll grab our water over here. Let's not hit our cells on that. So that steam pipe I keep hitting on, if you put plates on those, just like literally, you know, iron plates, whatever, and you surround them or just on that one end, more likely that would save me from burning myself every time I get there. 
not that I care that much, but I'm just trying to offer a solution to my stupidity on burning myself nonstop over there. By the way, my sleeping is pretty good lately, so I get up at 6 a.m. I was doing 5 for a while before holidays, but uh, just before holidays, I meant to get up at uh, 5 a.m. And instead, I woke up at 6 a.m. I just kept it there. And uh, yeah, I get up. I have a lot of energy. I usually go to bed around 9 or 10 now. I know it's crazy, but uh, yeah, it's a bit weird because usually I used to go to bed at like 5 or 6 in the morning every day and get up to like, you know, noon or 1 in the afternoon, but... Now I'm doing the opposite, and yeah, right now I'm recording at 7.30 in the morning, and it feels like a, a full energetic day, so, you know, it's nice. Um, gold plates, how do we get two of those? Okay, so you might as well just do it with handcrafting, because it's the same, okay. Oh, we have a double play anyways. There you go, we need a hammer, please. It's hammer time. Okay. It's the other way. There we go. Okay. Was it just two of them or four? No, two of them. Okay, there you go. And there you have it. So there's your personal anchor. And like I said, it will it'll anchor your life. Um, I think if you break it, it also will hold on to the four hours, I think. It's been a while, but this should consume it. There you go. Oh, yeah. It might even... Does it buffer? I forget if it can buffer a certain amount of time or if it's just... It might have to wait till that's... Okay, it doesn't. Okay, and then if you break it, I don't know if it holds. Oh, my goodness. What a way to get yourself killed in your base and burn it down. Really got to remove slime from that stuff. Anyways, that was deadly. If you place this down again, it does still have the four hours. So there you go. Um, I don't want that. Um, also, what you can do is use a lever to turn it on and off. So if I go over here, it might be a not bad idea right now for this anyways. Uh, lever would be up here in the wood stuff, I think. Now look at all the levers we've gotten over time. So if you want like this, you can turn it off. It's red, and you now know it's off. And then you can save it. And I believe they're 3x3, three three, I think. So, um, I could be wrong about that. Let me, let me look. The internet say it's 3x3. Three three. There is uh, something you can control. It's... It's, you know, how you do it, the Anchor Sentinel. Yeah, you can make one of these. And it lets you kind of reshape it somehow. I forget. It's a long time ago. But uh, I'm sure you can Google that and find all the information you need. But something to keep in mind. But, yeah, as far as I know, this is just a simple 3x3. Three three, so pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, that's our, our first anchor, which is awesome. And then, of course, we got our reward here. A loot bag. Oh, wow. Always wanted wood. Okay, um, so let's go and dump you in here. Oh, we did get a fall at some point, it seems, so that was nice. So that was that was nice. I was I was really happy about that. We have emerald plates, steel plates. I might as well do this thing here. Uh, was this four steel plates, I think? Yeah. Glass panes. We got those as well. And we might even have a dispenser in here from a quest thing or something at one point. So that's cool. And then we're going to make... The trade station. Oh, and then you're going to tra transfer, convert that as well. Okay, so we're going to make you. And then we're going to need to get some oak here. One, two, three, four. Actually, I think it was from... Sorry. It was already from these guys here. There you go. And then you're going to need your saw. There you go. It wasn't enough because you want. <laughs> it's like I saw the health on it. I wanted to use it up, kind of thing. It's just like, yeah. There you go. Okay. And then we're good. And then we we'll put that on our list. There you go. Oh, it has to be done in the assembler. Okay. That's fine to me. So, assembling machine here. I oh, made upgrade templates at once. Okay. Um. So we're gonna put. Oh yeah, I did some chest upgrades for the barrels outside or whatever that, or storage shores. Um. I forgot about that actually. It was a while ago. There you have it. Okay. And I do have some villagers that I collected a long time ago, so I could actually 
might even have some on me here. One villager here too, yeah. So I could use this as an example out here, actually, so. I don't, so let's see if it works here. No villagers found, and is it village or villagers, did it say? I don't know now. Okay, anyways, let's take this. I ho I'm hoping it doesn't have to be a village, but villagers. So yeah, oh yeah, there you go. This shows you what you have here. I'm gonna put more in there, there you go. Cool, so this is your trades, and you just click them and do the trades that way. You have multiple pages here as well. So it's a really nice way of doing your trades uh, with your villagers without having to you know, honey each of them, chase them down, or, you know, even imprison them. Now they can be more opened up in their little tiny, you know, room. Okay, so that finishes this. Let's open this puppy up. We got some potionist of swiftness, eh? Go, and then just dump you in here. Go. So you can put you guys in here, and I don't know, I've been putting, I think, those in there. Cool. Okay. Um, diamond tank, so shiny. Not that I really give a crap about this, to be fair. I do have that, and I guess I could do the diamond. The diamond ones are going to be the long ones, by the way. The whole me telling you this takes forever, I think diamond ones are, like, the longest ones here. Oh, yeah, they're, they look pretty long. So, cutting machine, uh, 384 seconds, and that's with lubricant. 768 seconds with diamond, yeah. So, that will take forever. Um, so, I think I'll just leave that next time kind of thing. Once more out of here as well, so that's interesting. You got your XP shower here. I can do that in the future. I'm not really caring about that right now. Your vacuum hopper. So I can probably get ready material-wise for some of these for next time and just go from there. But uh, lots of lots of LV quests still to do. So I'll work on that, which uh, I think will be fun. But uh, yeah, no, I think that's a good start to uh, getting back. And uh, like I said, you guys probably didn't even notice any episodes missing because I had buffered them a bit. Um, so yeah, you guys will just be like, okay, nothing ever happened. Um, I was talking about it. I was excited by my holidays, but... Uh, uh, yeah, anyways, uh, we'll, we'll continue next time. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.